Clinical trials are required for new devices when they're really novel, for a new device, for something that's not been in the market before, where we don't understand its safety, where we don't understand the benefits. And actually, one of the controls around clinical trials is that no clinical trial should be done unless there's something that needs to be learned. You don't enroll patients in research unless there's a question that needs to be answered and the research is needed to answer it. We do do clinical trials for medical devices when they're really novel or when the risks are high so that we can be absolutely sure that we understand all the risks and the relationship between risk and benefit. The reason for doing clinical trials is to confirm what we know about the technology from its design, its materials, its bench testing, and its animal testing. And therefore, we don't need excessively large trials for most medical devices. But again, the trials are not the size of pharmaceutical trials, which are in the thousands, because in pharmaceutical trials, you don't know what the pharmaceutical is going to do, where it's going to go, what its safety is, and you need large numbers. With medical technology, where you know exactly what's being delivered and where in the body it's working, you can tell whether it works or not. The numbers can be much smaller and still be significant and answer the question.